there actually comes down to, if I can get a bit nerdy, a chemical inside our brain. Go for it. <laughs> so this chemical is called adenosine. Now, if anyone did GCSE biology, or I don't know what it's called now, it's probably not called GCSEs anymore. I, I, don't, I don't even think it know. Is called GCSEs, oh dear, yeah, I'm old. Showing our age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, school age biology is what I'm going for there. And learn about sort of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is that energy molecule of the body, that currency. Adenosine is the waste product of that energy currency in our body. So it's building up whenever we do anything, just existing, exercising, using our brain, anything. Okay. And this adenosine is what makes us feel fatigued. And it builds up in our brain. It's what's called sleep pressure. And it's not, it's not physical pressure. Your brain's not going to explode or anything yeah, yeah. like that. But this sleep pressure is that feeling of like, oh, I've been awake too the long. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's totally separate to that circadian rhythm we've just talked about. Because I would say you'd get this. Say you've ever been awake for like, I don't know, 20 hours. You've had to catch a flight or something like that. Yeah. And you're getting that moment that your head's just going, Woof, you're just yeah, dropping. Yeah, yeah. And that doesn't matter what time of day it is. It's just to do with how long you've been awake. Yeah. That's that sleep pressure. So that's to do with adenosine building up inside your brain. If you nap, you clear adenosine because whenever we sleep, we're clearing lots of that adenosine out of the way. So in some ways, great, I'm clearing some of that adenosine. But you need that adenosine to be nice and high at bedtime to tell your brain, I'm tired, I'm, tired. I'm tired to go yeah, to bed, right? Yeah. 